What's the haps? I'm Maroka, and welcome to Indie Insight. Today we're going to be taking a look at Elysis by Furvier. This is it's actually just a demo, I think, to be honest, but hey ho, I'll take a look at it nonetheless. Uh, this is a top-down RPG thing, and the screenshots kind of made me, gave me a kind of Spiral Knights kind of vibe to the combat, so I kind of thought I'd take a look at that, that seemed pretty cool. I uh, got a pixel art thing going on, because it's always pixel art. That seems to be the way of the world at the minute, all the things are pixel art. Uh, as such, it does seem to uh, lack any kind of resolution options, there's no such things. Uh, we can customize the controls, I guess, so that's a thing, so at least there's options there. It's uh, not completely without. Uh, but this is Indian Insight, we are going to take 15 minutes to uh, hear blind first impressions. I've got no experience going into this game, I'm just going to hit the timer on my phone. And we're going to start a game and find out what it's all about. It's about a person with green hair, and there's some lighting things going on. Suddenly very rogue light, I guess. I guess I guess that was that lightning that lit the screen up very briefly. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, so I guess take the sword. Uh, e is interact with sword. A moment later, thunder. Yeah, I guess that's lightning that lights everything up. I wonder if you can see the lightning strike anywhere. That appears to be a shop. Well, wake up! You're, you're supposed to be working! Hello, welcome to the shop. Okay, she's asleep. I wanna buy things! I probably don't have any money to buy anything with though, do I? I suspect that's the thing. Alright, let's uh, let's go dungeon crawling. Can we go Legend of Zelda on the grass? No? A D I thought was attack, but I can't attack here I guess. I picked up a sword. Is E? There's like A S uh, A and S are like A S Z X. I think are right, were items. D is like attack, and E is interact with things. Can we go? Can I just go into the woods? Oh, I can kind of do a roll with shift. Woo! Doing a roll. Got a thing to stand on there. Okay, clearly you're going to have to tell me what is this. Where well, is she? I can't read these scribbles! What kind of person would make a sign like this? A person who would sleep on the job. Can I talk to the parrot? Oh, welcome to the shop. I have the finest selection of core for you. Oh, the parrot sells us the things! Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, right. I guess I hadn't equipped the sword? Is that why I couldn't do that? Uh, okay. And then we've got things. And I definitely have no money, so... Okay. I guess we're done. Can I leave? I wish to leave your shop. Uh, equip, yes, equip the sword. There we go. Uh, equip it in there. Good, we're good. Right, how do I get back out of this menu? Escape actually isn't the way out. Oh, space is the way out, right. So space brings that up. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, I've established how to use a sword. Yeah, there we go. I thought this would go Legend of Zelda. Yeah, we can smash up the plants and collect, I don't know, plant bits, I guess. Seems like there's some... I don't know, am I getting... What are these things? Peas? Am I picking up peas? I mean, I guess if it was Legend of Zelda you'd be getting rupees and things, and maybe the purple things are money? I don't know. Oh, the blue thing could probably be some amount of currency, yeah. Okay. Got it. Health is... Oh no, give me the money. Yep. Yeah, that's money. I guess that's ten coins. Oh, oh maybe it's mana? Those are... Oh, are the green things coins? They gave me yellow numbers. Yellow would sort of imply that would be gold. Okay. Stay back! I will slash wildly into the air at you. I can go through water. Good to note. Smash all the plants in the hopes of getting... It's good for health, I guess. And picking up... I don't know why I'm collecting leaves. Do I... It's not like vendor trash, is it? No. I was kind of wondering, am I just picking up leaves? Can I then go back to the shop and sell leaves? Ouch! God damn you! I want that health now. Uh, yeah, can I just sort of go to the parrot and sell sell the parrot things? Right, do I have to be around the front? Oh, ease, enter, right. I guess that's a shield? It is a sub-weapon. Okay. I will take the sub-weapon. How do I, how, how I use? Uh, equip in Can I do I equip it with the sword equip it there? I guess it goes there. Okay Sure Why not so I guess a is shield right 
Oh, right, yeah, yeah okay. It's kinda... Okay, I get that. I get that. Oh, I can do like a shield slam as well. Oh, that's kinda cool. Bam. Shield slam. Oh, nice. Oh man, I just wanna be shield bearer now. Shield slam! Oh, -ho -ho. that's pretty awesome. Now, if only you did that in Spiral Dice, you could just slam enemies into the wall with your shields. Oh, 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 that is a bottomless pit of despair and destiny and bottomless eternalness. Oh, I can, oh, I can shield slam my way through the grass as well. Bam, bam, bam! Oh, get shielded! Oh, God. I think I just got a critical shield. Yeah, get crit with my shield. I'm taking damage. Actually, I'm taking a good bit of damage. I should probably be looking to actually break things with a sword. Get broken with my sword. This is... I'm probably not terribly adept at the combat yet, but I'm kind of digging what I'm seeing so far. Same kind of minimalistic, kind of pixel art style. It's cute. It's cute. I can dig it. I don't mind me some pixel arts. Right, note to self, don't step in the eternal black void of nothingness and despair and death and I die. Because the stuff is just not working. There we go! Okay. Let's just go to town with the sword. The sword's probably going to work out a lot better for me. Can I... See if we can get some hearts. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, those are worth a thing, aren't they? The 20-somethings, 20, 20 monies. Right, you... Come on, die. I'm not sure if this is, I don't think this is like a procedurally generated dungeon-y thing. I don't think it's roguelike in any kind of way. I'm not sure. I think, I think they're pre-gen dungeons. I guess I'm getting the same... I guess I get the same treasure each time, and I imagine the shield is supposed to be a thing that you get really early on! God damn it! It just throws you... Okay, it throws you back to the start of each floor. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Can I, can I, yeah, I can knock the skeleton off the edge, I guess. Okay, good to note. That is a potion, I guess. I guess that probably, oh yeah, it counts as a sub-weapon, so pr probably wants equipping. There we, yeah, I'm gonna move on to, I, w I would, pressing E should, I suppose, I suppose, yeah, you need to, yeah, I guess there's the drop mechanic there, but I don't know, I, I guess I would like it just to place it. When you press E on a slot, I just like it to place it on the slot rather than having the extra, the extra button press. It just seems inconvenient. But what can I say? I'm lazy. Shield! Oh! Oh, he resists my shield! Oh god! How would you resist my shield? My shield is almighty! Whoa! I need to get... I need to, ouch! Yeah, I need to get accustomed to actually defending shots a little better. Uh, can I not go back now? Have I sort of locked myself in? I may have done that. There's a lot of grass. Grass has things hidden in it. I guess things... But that's kind of intriguing. That means that I can't... I can sort of let the enemies come to me rather than... Yeah, they can't get to me until I decide, hello, I'm going to allow you through. What is this? There's a mysterious green... orb? Gem? Thing? I don't know what I'm looking at here. What we got? Can I interact with you? Can I attack you? Can I shield slam you? Slam, slam, slam! Oh! Oh, the green meter is like... Stamina, I guess? Oh, I guess that's what I'm... Regenerating when I pick up... Um... Right, oh yeah, I see. The blue diamond is MP. And the green orbs are... Stamina, I suppose. So picking up... Uh... Green orbs and blue diamonds replenishes those. That would make some kind of sense, wouldn't it? Yes, yes it would. Which means I am still a little curious as to the nature of where my money is at. I guess it's the things that... Uh, yellow? Yellow must be money. Wait, no, because that's... When you pick up the green things, that... Eh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm earning things. Maybe I, maybe I just need to go acquire treasure from the depths of the dungeons. That's an interesting looking sword. Okay, what have we got there? Katana, a light and sharp sword that you can swing pretty fast. Normal sword can combo with good timing. It's worth more. There's no statistics on it though, so I'm not actually sure. Right. Okay, I'll take it. 
Can I equip that then? Oh, it's oh, you know, it's main weapons and sub weapons. I was just, I was just wondering. No, no, put it back. I was just wondering if I could equip the sword in another weapon slot, but I suspect that's not going to be the case. So I've got my yeah, 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 katana. Okay, this is my fast sword. That's cool. I like a fast sword. Grab all those things. I don't know why I'm gaining mana. I guess I, I guess there must be some spell casting at some stage, but I have no spells at this point in time. I'm completely spellless. That's gonna bring some spikes up if I go over it. Yep. Ouch. Should use my shield. What do you want? They don't throw anything, do they? Okay, I guess there's different routes. I could have gone the other way. Oh, the spikes have gone. Oh, okay. All right. I wonder if that's like an arena thing. Do I have to kill the enemies to retract the spikes then? Because there was the other route. Is there a map? Can I bring a map up? Does M bring up a map? No, of course it doesn't. Or is this kind of... Oh, whoops. Ah, no, no. This is kind of old school as a make your own map kind of thing. Get the pen and paper and make your own map. That would be kind of good. Yeah, they don't do that so much anymore. I think modern technology sort of has done away with that somewhat. But... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if someone actually did that. Yeah, this thing's this thing's making a nasty place to stand on. Yeah, kill all the enemies opens the door. Yeah, I've seen that mechanic before. Yes, indeedy. So, I don't know why I'm picking up leaves. Ah, that one spawns treasure. Cool. And what was that? An epe, a light sword used for quick advancing strikes. I guess these are more sort of pick your style more so than kind of any actual damage buff. It's maybe not progressive, maybe it's sort of, here's a variety of different styles of sword and choose whichever choose whichever ones you feel um, suits you best. So this, so the katana is more of a slashing kind of thing. This is I'm literally just stabbing them in the face. Okay. So stab things in the face. Yes. I can sort of, oh god, what the hell? There's a giant skull. Whoa, block that one. Okay, you're down. I can see that coming a mile away. Okay, yeah. Blocking your attacks. Come on. Get I'm, okay, I'm not uh, necessarily a fan of this epee, actually. It's not working too well. Am I down? Oh. Does killing the skull have, like, some sort of weird kind of death rattle aftermathy kind of effect whoa oh I fell in I fell in the gap god damn it right uh, give me the katana back cuz uh, I preferred that one okay so yeah it's more of a kind of it's a very specifically sort of slashes to it to the characters left so I guess if the enemies attack you from the right you're kind of a oh Hello, we can throw jars around. Okay. Whoa, jars are potent. Okay. I can dig jars. Cool. So suddenly, actually, there's a surprising amount of things that are sort of analogous to Spiral Knights in this. Yeah, I can, I can, I can approve. I can approve of these things. No, the heart fell down the gap. What are you doing? Okay. Do I just? Yeah, let's just do that. What the hell's going on over there? Oh god, oh god, the things. Save me from the things. You just get out of here. Mana's gone. Can I just... It seems like it's just spawning things. Can I just stop it spawning? Yep, you're out. Give me some stamina. Not that I really needed it. Oh god, there's more of them. Oh Christ, I fell again. This is not good. The health potion thing seems to be lighting up for some reason. I'm not sure what the significance of that is. Is that just how much health I'm going to get from using it? Is it like a measure of the effectiveness? If I used it early on, it doesn't really do much for me. So it's like, oh yeah, this is not very effective. At this point, it's lit up two lights, which means that, yeah, at this point, this is a pretty good opportunity to use that. Maybe that would be worth doing. Yeah, I'm gonna take that potion. Oh no, I just have... Oh, it's just straight up just charges of it. I didn't realize I'd picked up multiple, to be honest with you. Hearts, I'll take that. Yeah, so it's simply signifying it. You have lots of those, these things. Okay. Well, you're dead. 
I am getting some sort of XP there, so... Uh, don't know where my XP meter might be, though. I'm not seeing anything on the screen that would sort of do an XP meter. And I don't know how, when I level up, what benefits that confers. Presumably some extra power. Ouch! A little too late on that one. Alright, come on. Okay, that's that's out. Oh, shield bash! That's a pretty good little move. In here we have... What have we got? That looked like armor? Oh, it is an add-on. Alright. A vampiric charm. An add-on for boots, amulet, and belt. Steal stamina, mana, or health on hit. Okay. So we've got our primary weapon. We get four sub-weapons. Presumably the four green ones here on the left are equipment for belt, boots, armor, whatever. Um, and then you can add like four add-ons onto each of those items, maybe? That's pretty neat. That's actually, that's actually a really quite in-depth system. Given there's like four add-ons for each thing. Okay, it's not going to let me add on something without an actual item to add on to at this moment, so... I kind of need to actually acquire some armor before I can do that, because I'm kind of running around naked at the moment. God damn it, I stepped in a hole. Um, sure, I will take a potion. Yeah, that works. Hmm, okay. Which means everything's back alive again? Oh no, maybe not. Okay then. Okay, ouch! I keep messing up my controls. Probably ow Jesus. They, they just knocked me back crazy time. That's awesome. That's awful. Um, don't like that Ah, Okay, right. You're all out. What's going on with the oh damn it. I walked through the room If you go through the room things happen. What's going on with those? Can I destroy them? Oh god, there are bats everywhere. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Stop going through the doorway I don't want to go through the doorway. Oh god. They keep knocking me through the doorway. I want that last potion. I don't have a potion. They've taken my last potion from me. Oh god. Right. Are we free to- No, there's more. I want to just- Oh god damn it! It knocked me through the doorway again! This is horrible! This is really nasty! And I've got no way of healing. No! Don't knock me through the doorway. Don't. No, go away. Go away. I wish to deal with the green things. Can I destroy them in any way, shape, or form? No. Okay, I guess this is a gauntlet kind of thing. Alrighty, and there are more bats at the bottom end. Christ. No! Get back. Oh, I have a potion. Yes, take it. Good. The health is actually in a really awkward position for me. You guys won't be able to see it, but it's right under the frame rate counter for my recording software. Well, I suppose I could turn that off, but it's nice to be able to see that. Um, so I can't quite make out the details of my health when it's fairly low, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to progress onwards this way. It looked like a fairly nasty thing up there, and I didn't want to engage it. What's in here? Beware the false gravestone! Okay. Oh, that's another one of those things that I didn't like. Oh god. Oh god. The, god. the clouds, the clouds, the clouds are coming for me. Let's deal with the bats first. You do your thing, and then I will come stab you. Yeah, I got it. And you. I'm kind of quite liking the sort of fairly ambient kind of music. It's very atmospheric in this, actually. And I will tell you what, I've actually been recording way more than 15 minutes. I just wanted to take a 15 minute first impression kind of thing. And I'm dead, so maybe that's actually a reasonable place to leave it. Dead. Press attack to restart. We wake up, well we keep our equipment, but we wake up back at the store. And we get to talk to... Talk to the uh, talk to the parrot. I have the finest selection of core for you. I do have coins. Okay. So sure, those are, these are things. So I can buy probably some armor and things. Uh, bows. This actually seems like a surprisingly interesting and in-depth thing. Actually, there's quite a lot of interesting stuff going on here. A lot of items. A lot of interesting ways to combine things. A lot of different styles. 
I think I've only just scratched the surface of this. As I say, I want to take 15 minutes, but 15 minutes is really not enough to do this justice, I don't think. I'm gonna leave it here, but I do think this is probably something that's worth checking out, because it seems like there's probably a lot more depth to it than I've been able to take a look at in the short 15 minute kind of first run. Most of that being knocked by bats through doors, no less, but hey-ho. Seems there could be something quite interesting going on here. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Elisis. I've been Maroka. I'll see you next time.